My name is Yasin, and I'm going to teach you a simple method of learning HTML. Now, this is the first video of HTML, and I'm going to make a lot of videos after this, so keep watching. Now, I'm a first year student, I'm not a teacher, but I can teach, right? So, the first video here I want to make is what is HTML? You have to know what is HTML. Now, this is not examinable, I'm just showing you what HTML is, right? So, I want you to see it and look at it because when you learn it, you know what's happening. So let's see if I want to go to YouTube, right? I click YouTube. When I click YouTube right now, my computer is sending a network, a signal to my Wi-Fi. From the Wi-Fi, it's going to basically a uh, fiber optic cables, right? It's sending information to the fiber optic cables. It goes throughout South Africa. It goes through under the ocean. It goes through wherever this YouTube database is and fetches HDMI. So when it fetches this HDMI, HDMI is basically a code. Now this code gets fetched some, from somewhere, right? And it sends it back to my computer right now. And this is why I get all this. So right now I have nothing on the screen. It gets the HTML, HTML comes here and it gets displayed. So HTML basically is this whole website, these pictures, these words, how everything is formatted, how it shows you on this whole screen is the HTML. So we need, that's why YouTube, when you search, there's nothing, this whole thing is blank. But when it fetches the HTML from far, far, far away, it gets the computer interpret it and it obviously shows this. Now, I'm going to show you how coding works in HTML. Now, this is where the magic happens of HTML. Can you see how this website is blank? Whatever I write here in code is going to make this website that. Now, firstly, I will teach you all this in other videos that are following. This is just showing you what is HTML, right? So the first thing HTML, you need to specify in the coding what document you're using. So you'll see it'll be this, okay? So on the first line when I say this, this is basically telling me that whatever code I'm writing here is an HTML document code, right? Now you'll find out if you leave this out, it'll also work. But if I'm a coder and I got a fellow friend who needs to see this, they must, they, you must put that so they know that you're writing HTML. So you know how you write essays, you have a introduction, body and conclusion. An HTML website has the same thing. So let's name this a head. Now I want you to just see this, right? Can you see how when I say the word head, it has an arrow over there and a closing arrow over here? But can you see, notice over here it has an arrow over here and an arrow over there, but the extra thing it has is this. Now this and this is the same, right? I'm going to do the exact same thing for the body. So can you see how the exact same thing? Where it's a body. So basically these are called tags, as you can see. But here it got that slash. Now, whatever I write here in the head in the middle is what's going to be in the head. Whatever I write in the middle of the body is going to be in a body. And I might be thinking, what's a body? This whole white page over here, this actual thing what we see is called the body, okay? The head. Can you see this thing over here? This is actually called the head. So whatever you write in the head is basically going to change this only, this. If I want to make whatever writing this something, I can do it. If I want to make a different color, I can do it. If I want to make it bold, I can do it. You can use HTML. You can even use CSS. Now, you might think, what is CSS? You can learn it just now after HTML. HTML is just basically this. It's basically showing everything on the website. CSS is customizes, customization. For example, if you um, write down words over on this website, CSS will change the color of the words, change the size of the words. So, HTML is just putting the words, putting the titles. CSS is making that colorful, changing the background color, putting the size. So basically, HTML is like a bridge. Oh no, HTML yeah, is like a bridge. And then CSS is all the cars, the, the color of the bridge, the length of the bridge. So you see, so that CSS is more like customization, customization of the HTML. Now, under header, let's put title, right? 
Now, if you title, wait one second, the title. So, can you see? I know it was date and time here. Wait, sorry, I put time instead of title. One second, title. All right, perfect. So, can you see in between this head and this head, they got a title, and the title got opening tags and here you got a closing tag and whatever now you put in the middle of the title will be the title for example if i put um what I, what, what i can put let's see elephant let's just put elephant uh elephant elephant bob now when i put elephant bob i'm going to save this by control s on my computer and if I refresh this page over here, okay, let me come out, it should display. So you can see Elephant Bob. So whatever I write in the title in the middle will be the title. But this title is enclosed within the head and the head which represents this whole thing over here. So that's done, the head. So let's see the body. So in the middle of the body, we can write anything, for so example, how are you and it will get displayed right can you see how are you but that's just writing let's say we want a paragraph so we'll put p over here right as you can see it's the same format right opening tag closing tag this is a paragraph so let's say make sure to and we want to say subscribe but the subscribe part, we want to put it in bold letters, right? Emphasizing it. So we'll press B, bold, and you can see it's the same concept, right? So bold is like this, and in the middle of the bold, we press subscribe. So let me just put my uh, cursor there. Oh, I can put it here. No problem. Subscribe. Okay, save. And there we go. Make sure to subscribe. So, in the middle of the body, opening tag, closing tag, we've got an opening paragraph, closing paragraph, but in there we've got a bowl. So, you can see how everything is coming together. Now, let's see if you want an image, right? We want an image in the body. All you have to do is go on the next line, put IMG. Now, this over here, you might be thinking, what is alt? Don't worry about it. Basically, what it means is this. If on the website the image for what reason cannot be displayed, it'll be display this word. So we can say error. So in case this wait sorry, it's supposed to be under alt. But we don't need to put anything under alt now, right? Because we know the picture is gonna work. If the picture cannot work on the website, so you know sometime you open a website and they got like a error because the something can't be displayed, so whatever words you put there will be displayed. But don't worry about that. What we're concerned about is this here. Now, if you look over here, you got stored images. Now, in your computer, you can obviously, you don't need to know this, but copy and paste images over here, right? I got this image of a screenshot of a computer wallpaper, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this name over here, right? And I'm going to just put it here in between the inverted commas. So, paste. So, basically, yeah, I did that. So I'm just going to close this because I need space over here. Hide. And if I press save now, there we go. This picture came up on this website. So obviously now um, this picture is just too big, right? So I can use CSS, right, to make this picture smaller. So I can even do that, right? But, but I'm going to teach you this in all my videos. Everything over here, I'm going to teach you what to do in step by step. So, by the end of this, you know how to make a full website, right? But can you see how everything's working out? Now, let's say below this image, we want to put point form something, right? So, point form is what? I think it's L... It's something, yeah? Uh, let me see, let me see. Li, yeah. So, yeah, encoding Li is actually points. Um, in HTML, Li, yeah, Li. So let's see what we can do. Um, I can teach, and then let's put save. So below this, 
there we go in point form there i can teach if you want to make this in bold i can teach um obviously you're going to put that b over here so if we have to write it out uh we'll put that b uh let's see b okay wait one second so obviously i told you when you're doing this the opening tag there and then the closing tag closing tag how it look let's see a slash yeah perfect and let's save there we go it's in bold so you can see how everything is coming together now let's say we want to change the background color of this right so we don't want white so all we do is this we put body wait um, body uh, B G wait body why is it working oh sorry body background now wait one second yes yeah, so if we put um body okay wait sorry one second um yeah i must go in this line 20 okay so remember everything now we're doing over here is in between this whole body thing right so but now we're just gonna put i want you to watch what i'm doing a body okay we want to change the body color right so body um b g okay i'm not sure what's happening here Oh, wait, I'm seeing why I'm mistake. I can't close this tag here. Because this is a background color, right? So, B, yeah, there we go. Now, in inverted commas, you put what color you want it. So, let's say we want it red, right? Red. Okay, save. And there we go. Red. If we want it black. Black. Okay. There we go. So, I actually want yellow. I like yellow. Um, There we go. So, can you see how everything here is happening? see so this is basically html and this is what i'm trying to emphasize it this is literally html um css is basic customization right so if i want this picture smaller i will use css code to make it smaller right like for ex for instance this was what i did here css i customized the html the whole page right i made it yellow red whatever so that's css html is like the structure the body the writing css is using bold writing so i'm going to teach you all of this literally everything over here right now i'm using the notes of the um, it um, notes that were given us but um i'm using my own code editor but code editors they suggesting note plus plus in the notes but you can use anyone it doesn't make a difference coding is exactly the same and also um yeah i will try my best to teach html and css don't forget to subscribe like share and just tell everyone in it that i'm doing these videos because it's hdml in self-study so you know help one and other from yasin i'm out let's go